Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Nirvana. Mm -hmm. Somebody's um, got to. Somebody's got to. Yeah, we're going to talk about this uh, lawsuit. The Nirvana baby. You know, the naked baby chasing the dollar. Iconic, iconic album cover from the 1990s. Yeah, the baby's all grown up and he's suing. Because yeah. he said he was exploited as a child. Because he, he didn't sign any paperwork when he was a baby chasing that dollar. See, I never got that he was chasing a dollar. It told me that someone threw a baby in a pool and was trying to drown it. No, they weren't trying to drown him. They were trying to get him paid. I, no, I know. But back then, I was like, why are they drowning that baby? <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing this in <laughs> Sam Goody. See, that's, that's... Oh, my gosh, yeah. For the first time, I'm like, yeah, why is there a naked baby? Yeah, that was the second thing that I wondered about. I'm like, okay, why they drown the baby? And I'm like, oh, why didn't they cover the baby up either? You know. And I think they, uh, I'm pretty sure they had an edited version because I had a CD and I don't remember there being as much skin on my mm -mm. CD. Um, and uh, apparently there's, <laughs> this is the the uh, Arabian version where he's fully covered up. Uh, go figure. You know, we can't have a naked baby. But anyway, uh, there's a lawsuit going on. We're going to talk about that in the Twitter hot takes. Uh, what's interesting about this, though, uh, the guy, guy, he's like 30 now, who was on the cover of the album has recreated that scene on multiple occasions over the years with clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah, clothes, yes, just to be yes. clear. But every couple of years he does, he does, uh, uh, you know, recreation. Now, all of a sudden... It's a problem. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about that. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We're over 232,000 subs. Ooh. Thanks for the support. We don't talk a lot about uh, music or musicians, but this was trending today, and I was kind of surprised because I do remember seeing all these these um, recreations of that iconic album cover. So uh, I like, never paid attention, so I didn't. So I'm like, why is this kid suing I didn't see now? it. It was a little bit weird, but I'm not understanding like why it took him this long to do something about it. This is I'm not I'm not trying to be a judgy judgy mom here, but I wouldn't have put my kids in the pool at four months old. No, well, they do water. The dollar was, was was added later, by the way. Yeah, it's it's pretty fake. I think they photoshopped. That. I think so too. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah, coming from TMZ, uh, via comic book resources, which I thought was interesting, because here's the uh. The headline said the baby from the infamous album cover, Nirvana's Nevermind, claims selling the album was a form of CP. Because they said there's lots of pictures they use of babies and they use it for like advertising or whatever, but it's not meant to be used in a, what do you say, sexual way. Okay, I was never turned on by the Nirvana baby. <laughs> I wasn't either. It's kind of I was a Gerber baby. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you held out for the Gerber baby. Uh, you did. <laughs> oh, no, because... <laughs> Like he keeps calling you the Gerber baby. When they, when they, <laughs> okay, so I don't know so much now since I lost weight, but when my cheeks were chubbier, they put the Snapchat filter on me, and I swear to God, I always look like the Gerber baby when they. So, so Squid King calls like, him the Gerber baby. Okay, I wasn't even thinking that, but okay. And I get mad, and he's like, well, Ger Gerber baby having a temper tantrum. <laughs> It's like, I can't take you seriously. You look like a Gerber baby. And now it's funny when you say that, because I didn't even give that a thought. But anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah. The baby's all grown up suing. Uh, not suing Kurt Cobain, obviously, but the estate. Mm -hmm. uh, never mind. Art exploited me. Uh, so this is uh, an update. 10.45 a.m. That was today. Yeah. Nirvana exploited me when I was a baby to sell their music. But there's a person behind every image, and I'm just asking the band to do what they should have done 30 years ago and redact my junk from the image out of respect for my privacy. If the world could forget about it, then maybe I could forget about okay, it, well, too. I don't see why that's a problem. I mean, asking them to remove that part, I, I, that doesn't really change the image much. So I, I, don't, I don't find an issue with that. Because I don't remember spending any time looking at this kid's Well, I would rooms. be more worried if you did. Yeah, I didn't even realize the kid had junk until later. I mean, everybody's got junk of some kind, right? Right, but you weren't like like making. No, I wasn't. I, wasn't I mean, okay, I, I I don't think that's an unreasonable request. However, how are you gonna go get all those album covers back? You know what I mean? That are out there. You can't. You just, I guess, with with you know going forward, you don't put the kids' junk on the the kids' junk stays out of the picture. 
So that's what he's asking for? I, uh, I don't yes. even know what he's asking for. No, he wants honestly. hundreds of thousands of dollars, too. Oh, is that on here? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the baby from Nirvana's Nevermind album art is all grown up, and now he's suing the band for exploitation. A man named Spencer Eldon claims he's the naked baby. He is. Um, he was in Rolling Stone a couple times. Naked baby famously depicted in a swimming pool on Nirvana's groundbreaking uh, 1991 album cover. Gonna interject. Personal opinion. Nevermind is one of the most overrated rock albums of all time and somebody's gonna hate me for that absolutely oh, okay. they're gonna hate me more i don't even care about nirvana so there you go <laughs> uh i think nirvana actually became a bigger deal after kurt cobain died i i think you're probably right about that because they were i was there i remember i was in california at the time they were one of many grunge bands and yeah they got a lot of rotation on mtv but they didn't become like legendary until after kurt cobain mm -hmm. died I, I remember that. I was like, oh my God, I, I'm such a fan. It's like, you'd never listened to Nirvana. I, I didn't listen. I wasn't. I had the album, and it's like, it's okay. It's I just right. remember, like, what smells like Teen Spirit was played over and over and over again on MTV. That's yeah. all I remember. That's all I, you know, I didn't really care. So I got to wonder if this kid, when he was in gym class, getting changed, if, if kids were oh, just Oh, yes, going, dun, I recognize. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I, I you know he was a four month old. Those people didn't know unless, well, he, he was out Does there. Does he go around things. telling him, like, I'm the Nirvana baby. Like, I wouldn't tell people. If I was embarrassed by it, I wouldn't tell people. It's like Cloudy with the plants and meatballs. What's the baby Brant? Or baby oh, baby Brant. Or whatever his yeah. name is. And he kept shoving a diaper going, ooh. I, um, I'd just be like, does this junk look familiar, guys? <laughs> Give me a dollar. Give me a dollar. No, that's exploitation. Oh, uh, let's go for a um, swim. Yeah. I mean, I get it. I mean, I, I I get why he's upset. I just think it's why now. That's what you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, why what, not years ago when it bothered him and he was younger? You know why now? He's broke. I, I, I don't, don't know. know. According to a new federal lawsuit obtained by TMZ, Eldon claims he could not consent to his image being used on the album art way back in the day because it, uh, he was only a four month old baby. Says his legal guardians, uh, his legal guardians didn't consent to it either. Uh, Eldon's going even further in the suit, in his birthday suit. He claims the image is actually CP. He also claims the band made a promise to cover his junk with a sticker, but was never incorporated on the album cover. I could swore some of them on the cellophane. So then you have to buy it. Oh, so it could be because he had the cellophane, yeah. and then it I wasn't know. actually bleeped out on the actual image. According to the docs, Eldon claims Kurt... Dave Grohl and the rest of the band fail to protect and prevent him from being exploited and says having his naked baby body plastered on a famous album cover caused him to suffer lifelong damages. Yeah, he looks like he's suffering. Yeah, he looks... Uh, look. And he has a stupid never, never mind on his chest tattooed. Yes. I'm like, dude. That's not... I, look. I'm not going to tell people how they should feel. But I'm just saying. Somebody who has lifelong scars isn't going to be tattooing one of the band's, you know, uh, songs on their chest and doing repro uh, reproductions of, of the album cover every, like, five years. Right. It's just weird. I mean, why now? He wants $150,000, at least. He wants them to each cough up. Oh, each. Okay, so, yeah, he's, he's looking at, like, a half a The half band and the estate. Yeah, so that's what he wants, although... I, I, that actually isn't asking for much, given how many copies of this album mm. have been sold over the years, and the fact that they're still selling this album but on is that, vinyl. But that means, is that something going to make it okay then? Is it going to be better then? Is it going to mental damage going to be gone? Yeah, it might. It might help ease the pain. I just, I'm just like, you know, if he was legitimately seen like he was scarred and having all kinds of trouble about this for years, uh, then I could see it. But it's like, you know, every time he has the opportunity to jump in and recreate it, he does it. Yeah. So. <laughs> So we're going to look at Twitter's hot takes here. 30 years on, the baby's still chasing the dollar. Life imitates art. Uh, I can see Twitter struggling with this one. Two things can be true at once. He can be uh, a scrounger looking for a payday who has previously embraced his bizarre fame while also being fairly entitled to compensation for his likeness being used. And it wouldn't be hard to edit the winky out. Come on. I mean, that's what he wants. That wouldn't be hard to fix. Yeah, well, see, here's what I'm saying. Like, over the years, he's recreated the album cover numerous times. Like, every five years. Yeah, and I've, I've seen this. I've seen it in uh, Rolling Stone, I think. This is like it was just superimposed into a picture of water. That's just some, <laughs> like, that's just some kid. I yeah, was they like, just, yeah. Like, he was diving and they just kind of like, yeah. So anyway, this is uh, coming from GQ. In the past, you said it was cool. When did that change? Just, uh, okay, just, a, 
just a few months ago, when I was reaching out to Nirvana to see if they wanted to be part of my art show, I was getting referred to their managers and their lawyers. Why am I still on their cover if I'm not that big of a deal? So he got, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So he got blown off. That's what the whole thing's about. He got blown off. That's what the whole thing's about. Why would you reach out to them? I was trying to do an art show with their photographer who took the picture. I was asking if they wanted to put a piece of art in the fucking thing. At least it was Nirvana, a Nirvana album, not like Nickelback. Yeah, but the guy's dead and they're still selling his music. It's like some giant corporation. So he's pissed off they didn't, Nirvana wouldn't do his art show. That's what this is about? That's what this is about. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, 2008. Nirvana baby all grown up recreates classic Nevermind cover image. Yeah, so I don't know. It just sounds to me like he's he's just look. I, hey, sounds to me like he's just looking for a payday. I mean, that's my personal know. opinion. It's complicated. I mean, I can tell you that kind of thing would not fly today. He's like, it's kind of creepy that many people have seen me naked. I feel like the world's biggest porn star. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, I get it. I do get it. I'm sure there's some mental scarring there on something that you had no choice of. And people are going to judge you by it. They're going to, like, laugh at you because, oh, you're the Nirvana baby, you know. But unless you tell them, they probably wouldn't know that. Nobody's going to know you're the um, Nirvana baby unless you tell them, yeah. Uh, but they only got $200 for it, too, which is kind of a, sh a shit deal. I mean, they should have got way more than $200 for that. They should have got something for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, his parents were paid 200 bucks for allowing him to be photographed in 91. Oh, my God. Uh, He's such a dick. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Eldon told us that being the Nirvana baby has perks. He references it when trying to pick up ladies. Oh, God. And said, I have to use stupid pickup lines like, you want to see my penis again? No, they don't. But it's also led to some strange encounters as well. Why does he start an OnlyFans? They're, they're letting the porn back on OnlyFans. He could be like, know. I will recreate that album cover for you for a certain amount of money. Yeah, no. And then he says, Never mind. Rather wealthy woman wanted him to swim in her pool because he was their Nirvana baby. And he met Weird Al because he did the, his cover on the Off the Deep End. <sighs> okay. <laughs> whatever. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I don't know. Whatever. It was trending. I'm just like, it is weird because I, I, I do remember seeing him you know, being very proud of being the Nirvana baby. Yeah. I don't know. I just, it, wouldn't there be a statute on this? I don't know. Who knows? But, you know, for whatever reason, uh, even though it could have been done years ago, he's choosing now to, to get mad. So. All right. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.